Hi friends, happy to see you again. Welcome to RS Home Tutor. This channel provides Telangana and Andhra Pradesh maths video lessons for all grades 6 to 10th by Vasudkar Naguji Rao. We are solving the question from 9th class test book, chapter real numbers, exercise 1.1, question number 6. The question he has given in this way, the rational numbers express as decimal numbers, conversion of decimal numbers, all rationals convert into decimal numbers. It's a very basic question. This question will be done in 5th, 6th classes. So here we will go. Question number 1. Uh, 242 divided by 1000. When will divide it with hundred, tens and hundreds and thousands and ten thousands? First write down as it is number 242. After that put the decimal point. Uh, from left to right it, it will decrease the value. From left to right just count the three digits. Three zeros we have to count the three digits. One, two, three. So we have to keep the point here. Zero point two. 4, 2. This is the answer. As you know that 2 by 10. 2 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.2. 2 by 100 is nothing but 0 0.02. 2 by 1000 is nothing but 0 0.002. So in the similar way we are doing this sum. 1 0 after 1 digit 2 zeros after 2 digits three zeros after three digits from right to left next question number two three hundred and fifty four divided by five hundred so just what we will do first we will multiply with two by two both the sides I can do this I am raising the numerator as well as denominator so that what I will get so 807 708 by 1000 so this we can convert easily after three decimals after three digits we have to put the decimal point first write the number as it is so 1 2 3 we have to put the point 0 point 0 0.708 as a, this is an answer. Question number 3 2 by 5 again to get the multiple of multiples of 10 in the denominator we have to multiply with 2 by 2 what happens it becomes 4 by 10 now 4 by 10 we can write it as 0 0.4 after one digit you have to put the point from right to left. Count the digits from right to left. After one digit, I have to put the point. Now question number four. So here the question number four is in this way one one five by four. And I can do in this way twenty-five divide with multiply with twenty-five and divide with twenty-five. Raise the numerator as well as denominator so that what will get your answer will be 2827 divided by 100 so just check the multiplication of 25 into 115 so you'll get 2875 divided by 100 so write the number and put the decimal point from the right to left counting two digits by because of dividing with 100 so 28.75 so that's all about this sum please refer this this will helpful to you and this is a basic question you know very well I am not repeating that's all about this sum thank you very much share your comments and if you have any doubts for the comments. Thank you very much.